Well, there's no problem. If you had a gun, shoot him in the head. Hey guys, Hop here for TFB TV at NRAM 2023. We are currently unsupervised in the Anderson Manufacturing booth. We were shooting this gun. This is their new dissipator style rifle at the Primary Arms Range Day a couple days ago. And uh, talking to one of their engineers who is not here today. So I'm just going to tell you everything that I know and think about the dissipator rifle. This is, we call it a true dissipator at the range day. I know some commenters took exception to that, but what we're referring to is a true dissipator gas system because this is a 16 inch barrel with a rifle gas system and it actually has a rifle length gas system. A lot of modern dissipators have gone with a low profile gas block underneath the handguard just because it's way easier to get the rifle to run. You go with a mid length gas system and then you have a fake, essentially fake, FSB on the front of the gun. So while you get the aesthetic appeal of a dissipator, you know, the front sight block way out at the end and the full length handguard on a 16 inch barrel, it's not a true dissipator in the sense that the gas system is not rifle length. So this is a, a true dissipator, but not a retro dissipator. But we were definitely drawn to it at the range day and it looks like everybody else was because this is the exact one that was at range day. They only had one sample available. And uh, this one has clearly had the crap shot out of it. The brass deflectors got all sorts of marks. There's just a bunch of junk inside the chamber. Uh, we might be able to show you guys some close-ups of that. All right, guys, if I may interrupt my own monologue, we found an Anderson employee and dragged him over here because you're going to ask why this thing is missing the bolt carrier group. Yeah, it's missing the bolt carrier group because at range day, it's so gunked up right now. We're going to need some tools to get that firing pin out, and you can't have them on the wall with the firing pin in. So thanks, guys. <laughs> This is pretty cool because most people don't bother doing the true dissipator style gas system because it's very difficult to tune. And that's what we talked to the uh, Anderson engineer about, basically saying that the real difficulty for them was spending a lot of time trying to optimize the gas port. They were saying that this thing should run steel case ammunition, which is a very low pressure, hard to get a rifle to run if you're using a gas system like this. The upshot of a dissipator being you've got a full length rifle buffer, you have a short handy 16 inch barrel and you've got that rifle length gas system, they're really fun to shoot. They're really smooth and it also looks really cool. The only thing that could make it cooler is if they go classic dissipator and they get a fixed carry handle upper. I'm not sure if they'll be able to do that, it's kind of difficult. I think PSA currently has something of a monopoly on fixed carry handles, so I don't know if we're going to be able to see that, but it would be very cool. And the fact is, this is a proper dissipator that actually runs we're going to sneak out of here before we get in trouble, but stay tuned. We have more videos coming from NRAM 2023, TFB TV, TFB Showtime.